WhatsApp on Galaxy Television. And this is where stars are born. This is where we reach for all the stars. This is where we gather all the stars. This is where uh, we shine brightly. Um, if you ask um, the legend herself, the billionaire singer, she says, shine bright like a diamond. That's Rihanna, in case you don't know who that is. Today is Wednesday, July 24 2024 and of course on this show we are pleased to tell you that it's officially the 219th edition of the show and uh, we're doing really good we're enjoying ourselves even as we take on this quest to make sure that we're the best of the best now i'll tell you something very beautiful today whatsapp is a show that's created or that was created for the Gen Z's age between 16 to 26 to 27 and to tell you just about the truth we are trend setters we are pace setters because um the other day i think it was yesterday i was sat somewhere and i was checking my phone and the next thing i saw was um <laughs> someone who um, had been on this show and it took forever for others to get him on theirs and he called me was like see these people see what they are doing this this this, this. and i had to laugh because this is something that we know how to do best so everybody just follows us they just follow the trend this is everything that we set our mind to do and trust me on whatsapp we are who we say we are now whatsapp what do we do on whatsapp we do movie reviews now for example you have or oh, we've seen a movie that just came out at the cinemas or on youtube or on netflix or prime we go there and we check for it now we give you um pure synopsis to the trailer we tell you everything the plot twist drama everything you need to know about that movie and at the end of the movie review we always give a rating so it's left for you to follow us and you know we won't put you or take you or lead you as we also do trending issues um stuff that comes out a lot of times it gets us in trouble just like the celebrity just as well we always just bring it to the fore and make you guys understand what's what and where it's happening at the moment now i'll also tell you guys this morning that whatever it is you choose to do just know that galaxy television is for you now last but not the least we do have fashion and style and then finally we have a-listers um guest celebrities come on the show to tell you about their lives tell you about the journey work challenges what they've been through and how they've enjoyed successes and that's how that is why we are who we say we are also on the show today we do have one of such celebrities in the studio and you're going to be meeting him very soon i'm one of your hosts for the show one part of the host the other part is here but first i'd like to introduce myself for those who are just tuning in to what's up on galaxy television for the first time my name is Aura leaders a u r a l w e they call me the radio cubana they call me big size steady bear they call me the sugar daddy of lagos they call me the vibes machine and of course when you look at me i always tell you big big things in my life whether you like it or not take it to the bank cash it out it will give you all the money you need i'm giving the woman her flowers today my co-anchor on the show they call her the woman from delta state sapele to be precise i always call her the african queen and today she's looking very stunning and delectable feels like i'm the restored power to her house <clears throat> yes uh on the show today and as always partnering me and making sure that um we give you guys the best of the best please help me welcome to the studio this morning and as always we call her the african queen or maybe idolo hello how are you or maybe idolo never will i say such a thing you will never learn. i will never learn i, I get coconuted yeah no i will break the coconut yeah, what will you see inside there will be water fresh one <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Lagos. Good morning from wherever you're watching us from. Good morning, Nigeria. Yes, it's it always feels good to be here. Always, mm -hmm. there's never been a dull moment coming to 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 work. So it means that I'm doing what I love doing. So you, what do you do? Do you do what you love to do, or are you just going there because of the money, or because you just want to be there? Mm. So hey, do what you love doing. Yes, welcome to WhatsApp. And of course, this program runs from 10 to 11 a.m. If you're tuning in for the first time, tomorrow is the 10 to 11 a.m. And it runs Monday through Friday. So it is a beautiful time that you wouldn't want to miss for anything because it gets premium entertainment. So it gives you the best of the best. You know, that's how it is. Of course, we still just want to reiterate that. 
uh, LED television is on the go, so you just go to your iOS app or your Google Play Store and download the Galaxy app on your mobile devices. And of course, you can watch us from the comfort of your home, wherever you are. Like we always say, maybe in the shrine, in the church, in the prayer mountain, or wherever you are. So you just enjoy every program from uh, which they happen in Nigeria to uh, the family and brother, of course, this amazing program was sad to buzz and so many other programs. If you're a music lover, of course, we have something for you. If you, even children, since your holiday, of course, we have programs for you. So there is a whole lot for you to learn from on Dallas television. And right now we're streaming live on Facebook, Instagram, and on X. So let's go to social media platform and Search for the Galaxy Entertainment and you will see what's up screen like so you can take four notes to catch up in the noise. Maybe you're even watching from uh, your TV screen. So why don't you tell someone else to do the same through the mobile devices. Let them enjoy what you're enjoying and learn also from whatever. Let them learn from whatever you're learning. So it's always beautiful to hear. My name again is Omezi. A dollar. It's such a, a funny thing that I put it outside. If someone wants to call you, maybe a dollar. I don't like it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. So, really, let's go. Oh, we know how to talk best because the person in the studio mm -hmm, is a gang gang. That's a gang gang. So, you gotta love him. You gotta love him. And someone is not happy about that. Uh. But I don't really give a. And the current, but it does or not. Hmm. Now you sabi. <laughs> anyway, um today feels um kind of normal because I'm actually feeling a lot under the weather. That yesterday it was it was terrible. I don't know how I'm in the studios this morning. I, I had to pick myself up and say, Hey, because of who we have in the studio today, let me try my best. I'm not I'm not even near forty percent. But hey, the show must go on. Yeah. Um, television is what it is. And for WhatsApp, we'll do everything what to do. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, you will be meeting um, our guest, our A-list celebrity artist in the studio this morning. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just tuned in, this is WhatsApp on Galaxy Television, your fun um, television lifestyle music and entertainment and um, program now this is for we always say it's for gen z's but hey if you are younger heart and you feel like you can vibe to stuff like this we always give you so much information we also aim to educate you because you will learn stuff and you also unlearn and then relearn again and also we tend to give you so much entertainment on this show we've had um grammy award winners we've had celebrity chefs we've had um guinness world record holders in this same studio we've had celebrity dancers um music artists from different genres secular and gospel we've had um actors actresses name it we've had artists in the studio abstract anyhow you want to call it um i'm also looking forward to the day we'll bring someone like um i think someone like a hype man to this yeah. studio oh yeah we've had a lot guys in this studio yeah, i think one or two a hype man a celebrity hype man i'm actually Definitely. one is that one. yes I'm, I'm actually working on one right now to see how he will come here and scatter you guys it might be pokoli it might be one other person let me not give let me know let yes. the bag out of the cat or the cat out of the bag but anyway we do have in the studio today um someone who is afrocentric someone who understands um what music is all about and he's been doing this for a couple of years and um it wasn't really hard to get him to the studio but he expressed enthusiasm he said yay i will touch down I would enjoy myself and i want you guys to feel the same way so he was really grateful to be able to make it to the studio and we're also honored to have him help us welcome to the studio this morning they call him king papi welcome <laughs> how you doing now i was getting to the studios this morning i love it yeah, yeah uh, the, the yes i so much anything i love being african you are shameless i know 
So, <laughs> if not for something, I would have removed it from the <laughs> printing and not removed it. So that somebody will not call me in. You uh, no, I will not call you, you any name. You call unprintable name sometimes. Unprintable. But, but you, have, you just introduced him and you are already flirting with him. Uh, Sometimes it's necessary. Why? Why are you like this? True, Sha. Very, very true. Yeah, how are you? I'm very fine. Yes, you look good. I love your shoes. All right, um, quickly, ladies and gentlemen, Nigeria world, we want to quickly tell you who we do have in the studios this morning. A little bit, I'm sure you enjoy his yes. music on different social media platforms and on different television stations. His real name is Ugo Chuku Franklin Cosmos, professionally known as King Papi. Put that at the back of your mind. He's a singer and performer who hails from Imo State, Nigeria. Um, that's actually where I'm from, and he was born in the 90s. Now, in 2021, he won the Unlimited Awards as the Motivational Artist of the Year. Wow. He's an award winning artist. Even though he does Afro beats and dance, or he'd rather say he does Afro tapa. Perhaps his style of doing Afro beats. So his style of music is Afro Tapa. We'll be discussing about that. Um, his style of music, Afro Tapa, has been really making waves for himself. And um, yes, King Papi believes in the power of sounds and rhythm, and um, also focuses more strength on his lyrics. Something that a lot of artists in Nigeria today lack. Now you can have a taste of King Papi's vibe. You can't actually have a taste of King Papi's vibe and not want to have another. His sounds are so addictive. So be careful mm. and be vigilant. Be very strong. So that, mindful you, when so, you that listen. so that music no go carry you away. Carry you, you not know. Yeah. So this music can carry you where you not know. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah. If you're not careful. The music will carry you, they will carry you not know. <laughs> so this this is who we do have in the studio. Yeah. Um, help us welcome again, King Papi. Yeah, yes, I want to start with the name. Mm -hmm. King yes. Where do you have notes? Let's yes. ask him all that. The name. How did you get that? Uh, I don't think there's any special reason why I have the name. I the name of, I got the name of his first from a friend. He said I act older than my age. He's always calling me Papi. So it doesn't sound good to me like then just Papi because I hear a lot of people hear Papi too. Ay, 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 Papi, yeah. we know we say that thing to yeah. collect money from you. And so, from childhood, I feel like a king every time. Mm. So that's why I just, I just choose to party to today. Yeah, Papi. king, Papi. Nice. Just be like K-I-N-G. Yeah, mm. yeah. I just wanted to be abnormal. So that video is like an A, like an option. Like an abnormal king, Papi. Oh, wow. beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. If you had not explained that someone would have called you Papi or that. Mm, very true. But right now, we now understand. And yes, you know, it's, it's, it's a clear vision now. Yes, it's a very clear one. And it feels good. I, I like it when people see themselves this high. Instead of seeing yourself low. Even though you see yourself here, you know that yes, you're still growing. So, let's go back to the beginning of the interview. Yes, where, where and how did you start this journey of becoming King Papi and who you are. At what time did you start? When did it dawn on you that you were you were supposed to make Afro yeah. Papa? When did it enter your body that you were supposed to shine bright like the star and the diamond that you are? From the beginning, how did this journey start? You want to know? Um, I would say my music journey started from 2019, but before then I used to be a dancer. I danced okay. for years. Wow. Wow. I traveled like 27 states dancing. Hmm. I danced for 12 years, and then in 2019, I know I could sing, I could rap, but in 2019, I just chose to start doing music because the kind of money I want in my life to change people's life, mm -hmm. guys might not be able to give me. Yeah. Not like it's not food, food, but the kind of money I want, guys might not give me, so I chose music. Not because of the number. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Not generating this money all for myself. For my purpose, mm -hmm. okay. So I chose music. It's like like a very good re revenue for me. It's a very good re um, revenue generating system for me. Since I can do this with, with ease, like I can do music with ease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I said, this is the only thing I can do with ease. Aside that, I don't have to go to rehearsal for two months to perform on a stage. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I just have to get into a studio, 
you have a good beat that I like, and I can record. Okay, since this is the only thing that I can do with ease, let me put my whole energy there. So 2019, 2020, I dropped my first song. Mm-hmm. So I can't record right now. So that's how I just started. My first, second song, I got this massive response from people. I don't even know I do music. Like, they won't even believe it. They'll be like, ah, guy, let me sing like this. You bad, who? Like they sing like super, and they call so many names. Yeah. I just feel like, for to you, I'm sounding like this. To you, I'm sounding like this. To you, I'm sounding so. I'm sounding like a whole lot of people. Yeah. So it's so all together in one. Yes. You yes. guys, to be me, my Afro tapa. Hmm. That tapa is like T A P A. That's like take away pain always. I want you to hear my sound. Oh, mm-hmm. say, say that again. Take away pain always. always. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. I want you to be happy. I want, I want you to hear my sound and be like, God, this guy, where is this guy being in all this while? Mm. I just want my sound to take you. I just want my pain to, to get positive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, I love that. Yes. You know, from the way you spoke on music, okay, dance, music, and how far you've grown in the industry, it seems the journey was so smooth. <laughs> I would say so smooth because yeah. if, it, if, it is, if I say so smooth, then mm-hmm. it's I paid for everything. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have to fight at some point. I have to regret at some point. Mm. I have to hate on people at some point because I was feeling entitled. I felt you're supposed to do this for me, and so because you do not do it, I'll get angry. And then by myself, I'll have to educate myself. Mm. Go all man for himself. I have to do this. Yes. Mm. So. It's not with this smooth. Steady. No. Fight, 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 smooth. Fight, fight, smooth, fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's just the part of life actually. It's never uh, a smooth journey. So it's a beautiful thing that uh, you you talked about your challenges and all that. And I like it when people admit their flaws. Mm-hmm. But yes, these are my challenges and all my flaws. I walk on them and this is where I am. So moving on. So, yes, back to dance, dance. What kind of dance were you doing? Was it just any break? Jazz, contemporary. Dance were you into that? I, I did contemporary, I did hip hop. I was a b-boy, like, I don't know if you know what a b-boy is. Like, it's not that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Like, I'm a step dancer. I had a team of 33 people. Whoa. Yes, and then, we look at the mm. yes. 33 to 3? Yes. What happened there? They stopped believing. Mm. A whole 30 people stopped believing. They didn't go with the vision. Wow. That was, that was good. All right. I think he teach us. Uh, I want to do it. <laughs> oh, no. I know how to do that. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. And he's going to teach me. Go, 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 go. You want to wear wings and go, 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 go. No. Where, where you fall? Who will carry you? You ask what? I ask my mm-hmm. bodyguard. You have started this thing. My bouncer. Where you fall? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, you've talked about dance. You've talked about music. Um, give us your main motivation for the kind of songs that you do. The kind of music you make. Your main source of motivation. Now, um, there was a time David O said his main source of motivation was people and that's why he came up with the slogan we rise by lifting others now for others some people say it's someone came on this show and said he he was motivated by experiences yes. and that really went a long way when he explained himself so for you what do you think your main source or sources of motivation is um there's one thing my pastor always said he said there's nothing new on that Mm-hmm. True. So yes, before you become whatever you are, no matter how you put it, you must have looked at somebody. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I look at somebody and say, I want to do like this person, and I want to be bigger. Who is this? For money. Mm-hmm. Yes. For money is my biggest motivation because for money used to be the richest. For money used to be the most. Until now, he's the most famous man in Jamaica. Yeah. But he was never recorded the richest man in Jamaica. Though he made a lot of money. Mm-hmm. I want to be like I want to do more than he has done. His money is always going to people mm-hmm. who needs it more than him. Mm-hmm. You get it? Yes. So if I had not saved of money, maybe I would I would have not known that humans could live like that. So I saw him living like that. 
with the whole talent, with the whole thing. Doesn't care about luxury, doesn't he just believes life is life. Equity, like everybody is supposed to be one. Yes. So that's what I believe. I do not respect people because they are rich, I respect mm-hmm. because they are human. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, that's exactly. how that is. Yeah, that's why I, I love him a lot. That's, but mine is like, I don't, I don't really do his side of music, but every time I get, I watch him like every day. Every time I watch him and I'm weak, I'll be like, let's do this. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah, talking about it, helping people. Have you ever been in a situation where your assistance to someone turned out to be? Negative, and you're like, oh no 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 no! It's like this thing I'm doing, it's not gonna work. GTB, good turn bad. <laughs> That's what I call it. <laughs> you know, have you ever been in that kind of situation, and you wish that you could just stop yourself from helping people? Um, I wouldn't say yes, because okay. I've not really given that kind of um, response from somebody I have. Okay. Really great. I just feel bad, maybe just need to regret. Nothing really strong. I've not, I've not, I've never seen that kind of thing before. Mm. At, at what level do you think, okay, or what do you think you can do? How big is that thing you feel you can do for someone and you feel that, yes, I have achieved this goal? Does it have to be something like something you people see as extraordinary? Is there anything like that? Like you, want mm-hmm. to you, just, you just have to know what anybody is. You know. Should I have been like living a hundred million to make him happy? Why are you be living like a ten thousand naira to make you happy? Yeah. It's very possible. Yes. Possible die. Yes. So that's how I do. I'll make sure I know you first. I want to know what I want to know what is really the problem. Yeah. You understand? So you don't just go about giving a rich man another hundred million. That's like mm-hmm. wasting millions. Mm-hmm. Why not share the one million to hundred poor people? Mm-hmm. You you see it now. So there's nothing really big I'll do for you that I think I've done the work for you. I just want to do that thing. I really, really need it. The man that is needing a man that is in need of one kidney. He needs your kidney. Mm-hmm. And you are giving him a hundred million. Like it's, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Just no. give me your kidney. He's very fine. Yeah. He's okay with that. That, that. that's true. You you sound like someone with a very big heart. <laughs> Someone is coming. Oh my God. I know. I've, I've always known that you disgrace me everywhere we go, okay. and you keep you keep coming up with different reasons why that school of thought is is always but holding water. Always proving you right. Yes. Keep. Keep proving I'll me right. Keep it up. I am. I am a good person. Yeah, good words. <laughs> now, King Papi, um, before we go on this quick break, I want to ask you: um, when it comes to music, you obviously enjoy doing what you do. Now, this is us going to go. We're going to start doing personal stuff with you, asking you personal questions. In your line of music, in your journey. Has there been any embarrassing moment, or what has been that? Everybody has embarrassing moments. Um, you can um, sometimes, for us journalists and broadcasters, a day you wake up in the morning and you decide, yes, I'm going to kill it today in the mm-hmm. studios, and then your voice just tells you, <laughs> you ain't doing nothing. Ah, ah, and your nose. What's <laughs> Your body will tell you you ain't doing nothing. I don't like yesterday night up until like two AM I didn't know if I was gonna make it to the studio. I was that weak. I had to drink this boost drink. I don't wanna give free advert free publicity. I had to try, you know, because I was I still am very weak. Trust me when I tell you I'm just trying to put up myself and all that but sometimes the balancing moments can happen now this doesn't or will not deter you if you are a very strong individual but for some that's usually the end of their life or their career whatever it is they got going on so has there been any embarrassing moment that you faced in this year journey of music um i would say no like why i say no is because i tend to be very careful and very very concerned about myself my life my happiness is what comes first, not even family. Mm. You understand? Because if I die, which is not now, family will still move on. Oh yes, they will. So my life, my happiness first. So 
I tend to put things first. If I was not strong enough to come here today, I swear down, I will call you and I'll say, boss, you can come. Then, mm, because, what if I try and it doesn't go the way I want? That, that, that's, that's where the embarrassment starts from. So I tend to observe and be like, okay, so if I do this like this, it will lead to this, I will just back. Mm. I don't care what it costs me. Nothing is too important to me. Mm. Nothing is too important to me. Well, yes. Wow. Are we going on break now? Yes, we have to okay. because um, in the eternal words of King Promise, um, in the song Terminator, he says he chooses his happiness. His happiness come first. You know, come life to come. You know, finish the wordings of that one. Now, he also says, uh, whatever you think of him, is not his business and that's something that a lot of people if they only live that kind of life uh, probably will be living better than some of the others now we're going to go on a quick break we do have king papi in the studio and of course we have we have the delectable omevi idolo also orally day for you take this quick break when we come back it is still back to this very amazing interview with king papi enjoy on Galaxy Television and this is where stars are born and maybe for one little quick break um, the music video you just saw is titled Pull Up by King Papi one and only and of course we've been giving him um, soft landing on the show I know maybe Dollar we've been asking him a couple of questions and of course he's been telling us about his journey now let's also reiterate again and tell you Galaxy Television is on the go so make sure you head on to your iOS store or um, Google Play Store and um, download the Galaxy mobile app also stream live on Facebook, on Instagram, and X, which you know is Twitter. Um, yes, the song Pull Up. Tell us about that music video and the song. When did you write it? When did you shoot the video? What's the story behind that song? Okay, I wrote that song in 2021. Wow, mm -hmm. yes, that's like a song from my hood where I came from. That's like a package of my hood. What hood is that? This is for job. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I grew up seeing people like that I grew up with make it and come back to home. Mm -hmm. like, I saw a whole lot of people become very rich, own cars, and then not talking to we, the people that don't have like as a them, and then they don't talk to you. All of a sudden they go broke and come back. Mm -hmm. Everybody hate them for the hood before. Ah, chama, chama. No more hating. As you just fall back, everybody dress back. Mm -hmm. Straight. That, so the song is like, I was trying to say everything that happened in this hood. Be careful. If you are spending, make sure there is a backup. Mm -hmm. Make sure there is a backup. That is what the song is trying to say. And it, well, it's, the song is also an encouragement to those that don't have whatever you are doing. Pull up. Mm. Don't look at somebody. Pull up. Do your thing. Nobody will ever come. All right. Pull up. Do your thing. Now, um, this part is something I left um, to talk about a bit, um, and then maybe he's gonna ask you other questions. The yeah, female fans, people like this. <laughs> yes, you are shameless. I've said that to you a couple of times. But she's someone that adores um, artists who have intellect who do very good music her choice of music is very impeccable i must say i don't really want to give it to her but i have to but anyway your female fans those ones who want you to in her words sign here and do all that that place is dry sign here <laughs> <laughs> how, but how, why do women do that why did you sign here you didn't say anything no i did it you understand me okay you, you should answer on your behalf now so that we not fight <laughs> how do you deal with female fans yes i love my female fans because I, if I was a girl, I would not be listening to my songs. It would be not a fine guy, you know, those girls listening to like funny artists. You know what I mean? I understand where you're coming from, but when you say you're not fine, you're a fine boy now. I don't understand. Really. Yes, no. <laughs> moving on, moving on. <laughs> How do you deal with that? Yeah. Well, after the music video, they want to come to your hotel room. Mm -hmm. Hello. Keep 
body of work coming out in august yes so many mm -hmm. oh, that, that's beautiful we're looking forward oh, to you featured um an a-list or i'm not using the word a-list a bigger artist that's you know okay with the with the the presence of this artist in this song it's going to give it a different look a different sound style. have you worked on any work or are you working towards featuring um, um, okay, so far in my career, I choose not to feature anybody until I can, I, I, until I am convinced I am loved for me and not because of who I feature. Mm -hmm. And now I am convinced. Oh. Yeah. So my next body of work I'm preparing an artist, female. I'll say, let's not be you by exaggerating, let me be you. Okay, okay. Okay, that's beautiful. It's a good one. Okay, you dance, you go for shows, you travel, you do a whole lot, you do music. We ask all our guests this question. Very important. Very, very, very important. And the question is your health. How do you take care of your health? Do we just do the music thing? Do we just pursue the money, let make the money? And uh, one day somehow you just break down without paying uh, so much attention to your health. How do you take care of your health? What do you eat? How do you eat? And how, when last did you go for checkup? Because I see that the questions are plenty. So that's why I was talking about. It's your health now. How do you take care of it? I think just one, one word I would say will help me say to you this. My mom is a doctor. Hmm. Okay. So my health is very fine. Okay. Even if I don't take care of my health, my mom will call you. Hello, call your direct native man. Google you. <laughs> <laughs> Come house. Oh. <laughs> Any new medicine. You see, my house is like chemist. Oh. Uh, I know the feel. Ah. Come on, oh, go do the so test to bring the result for me. Make I know the, ah, Mommy, calm down. I'm fine. I'm not in auto. Come. You don't have a choice. So you, yeah, you have yeah, to. My health is like half hour so. 
What a beautiful mother. What, what, what we do without mother? Shout, out, we shout do? out to King Papi's mom. Yes, and shout out to every, every woman out there um, making sure that um, their, their boyfriends, their husbands, their son's life are um, at par with yeah. um, the, the health issue we're talking about. Because you see some people um, who die from a result of shock. They just hear one news. And they're gone. And they're gone. And in this, we, I call this kind of job that we do entertainment a high risk job mm -hmm. because your heart is always here. Either you're, you're bringing or producing news, you're going out there to source information, you're going, it's, it's not easy, especially. Um, I always give kudos to us on the show because the kind of celebrities we bring into the show, you know, easy. To bring them, to bring them, the time you spend on talking, on nobody, trying to no, no, nobody chides. Now, quickly as we're on the show, um, give your fans the next um, King Papi, the people who want to be like you, words of encouragement and motivation. Well, I just, I just hope everybody who hearing me believes me. Hmm. All right. Whatever you are going through now, whatever you're doing, I swear it will pay off. All right. Just don't stop. Check every great person you want to be like. They went through this particular phase you are going through right now. So keep doing it. Keep doing it. That's the secret. That's the secret. The successful man will not tell you. When a successful man that tells you to keep working, he loves you, bro. Keep working. You are very close. Keep working, keep grinding. Um, lastly, give us your social media handles for us to follow you and then how we can get your song on what social media outlet or platform the songs are so we can okay. download them. Straight. Um, my Instagram handle is at King Papi Ground. K V N G P A P I underscore G R A N King Papi Ground. The same on Twitter as X, Facebook, and everywhere. And on my social media my social, my music platform better. Alright. King Papi. Papi. King Papi. Yeah. Mm, King Papi. We'll be following you um, right. immediately. Yes. Um, that's all we have to take at this part of the show. Um, he says that whatever you do, first believe in him. He talked about something earlier. He said the kind of music he does, he wants people to love him for him. Not for money, not for any other thing, just for him. A lot of artists have come here and um, even though they are super big or great or whatever, there are only few who have been dishonest. And yeah, trust me, yeah. I enjoyed I enjoyed this. First off, before we leave, what's your favorite food? Mm. Rice. Just rice. What kind of rice? Rice. Mm. It's that morning after night for one year. <laughs> ah. <laughs> White rice. What what protein do you like? She likes turkey. Mm. Okay. I like a mixture of turkey and fish. I like fish too. Yeah. I like fish yeah. too. Mm. Ah, but I can't treat talking. So do you like noodles or spaghetti? Both. <laughs> that's that's me. Uh, what kind of swallow do you like? Eba. I, mean, I like fufu. I like eba. I like to hold you. Oh, I like afang and okra soup. Mm. Afang first, okra soup to follow. Wow, that's beautiful. What's, what's your favorite? So I know uh, uh, banga and then. Um, banga and starch. Yes. That's my favorite swallow. That's why I'm very wicked. But I can't even remember the last time I ate it. Where's, where's the time? Where's the time? Where's the time? Anyway, thank you for coming on the show. We're really honored to have you, King Papi. We hope that when we call on you next time, you turn up for us. So far, so good. We've had fun just with this man. And trust me, this, is, this has been one of the interviews that I enjoyed yeah. myself. I'm not feeling it, um, 100, but today kind of spiced up my life, and I hope it did for you. So let's go on this quick break. When we come back, it will be time for Celebrity Just Don't Go Anywhere. Is what's up? And if you're just tuning in, I'm sorry. Yes, because you've missed a chunk of the show where we've had so much um, to just and talk about. Um, yeah, so it's time for Celebrity Just, the first one. Yes, DJ Copy loses grandmother. Wow. Uh, no matter how old a mother is, it is always painful. You can never take that away. So, especially uh, losing someone that is close to you. If the day of God, not yet. But my grandmother is old. She is 100 this year. And I grew up with her. My first 12 years old was with my grandmother. So, I don't... 
I don't know how it's gonna feel, but yes, she she uh, DJ Coffee is so proud of her grandmother. Of course, she was like yes, her grandmother raised look, her mother look, look, well look, look, look. for for her mother to raise her well. So of course, you know the discipline and all that. So I feel that she was kind of attached to to her grandmother too. But then we just as she said, she knows that uh, grandma is in heaven right now resting. So DJ Coffee from all of us at uh, Galaxy Television and of course WhatsApp will say she has her condolences and we do not give you a very big hug to hear the loss. So that's the story. Yeah? Yes, Ashake said to the blind the old arena for the second time. Not every artist gets to do this now. Ashake is a big artist. Not just long ago, Rema said that there's no longer a big three. There's a big, big four. four. And if you had Ashake, now there's a big, big five. five. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is. Ashake is going to headline um, the old tour right now. Very, very soon. We'll be giving you all the dates and details of that one so that you can buy tickets for those of you who have plenty of money. Old tour right now. Just go there, chop life, and go and enjoy yourself. Ashake knows how to vibe. Yes, he knows how to bring it. Serious. So that's exactly what it is. The next one. Yes. Charlie Boy vows to divorce his wife if Kamala Harris fails to win you as a lecture. Ah, Baba, Baba Charlie Boy. <laughs> now today, we know you, you can never divorce that woman after 47 years. Mm -mm. But you know, of course, he said that jokingly, like, he, he is praying that uh, Kamala wins being, uh, for the fact that Obama was the first black man to win, uh, to come in as the U.S. president some time ago. He is giving Kamala uh, Harris the best, his full support that, yes, she should be the first black woman to come out as uh, the U.S. president. Uh, because in, of course, jokingly, that uh, Kamala is his crush. So, <laughs> so we understand uh, Charlie Boy. He is just putting out there, putting all his uh, support, all his weight behind uh, Kamala Harris. So, uh, Baba, we know you will not do it. We, we will not even allow you to do it. All right, the last one says, I don't know how to park my car. Saying that David confesses. I always say this thing. I love David O one for a reason. But a lot of people in Nigeria that don't know how to drive. Hmm. You see a lot of accidents that happen on the road. Oh my God. The first sign of a very good driver is to know how to park. Yeah. That's for me. That's one of the first signs. If I see, say, I take khaki, park this car. How you park it will determine if you know how to drive. Case once he just comes to the house as he just park anywhere for compound. Oh, yeah, Israel, take key or Lati, oh, take key, go out, park, and he just leaves it. And too many cars, in fact, um, GAC GAC just gave him another one. I think it's a 2024 model of the new specs for their car in his garage. His garage is slowly becoming something else. <laughs> There's um, a Lamborghini Aventador, there are two Rolls Royce. Mm. Hi, is. Aurelie, do you know how to park? Oh, I park wickedly well. You know, maybe that's why yeah, some of uh, maybe some of the those friends would have known that he doesn't know how to park well. That's why they don't tell him or got park well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So that he would not be ah, these people are reminding me of my my weakness in driving. But that's just the story. Anyway. All right, before we say our goodbyes, I want to specially um give a birthday shout out to a friend and a brother. This man understands what loyalty means in in life. Now uh, um, if you ask me properly, I'll tell you. His name is Vicky Nino. We call him Nino. Happy birthday to you, El Nino. God bless you um, today, which is on the 24th of July. God bless you now. God bless you forever. God bless you always. From the bottom of my heart, I love you, brother. Nino, Vicky Nino, God bless you so much. Are we going to sing for him? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, El Nino, from the stables of Galaxy Television and WhatsApp. I want to say we love you. Have a fabulous day. I'll be turning up for a barbecue party.